Here I'd like to talk a little bit about G0 or uh, distance or gap continuity. Now, each studio, each company, everybody does something a little different when it comes to measuring G0. And that band runs all the way from 0 0.001, some people are very strict, all the way to point, I've seen all the way up to 0 0.01 in some cases. And, 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 and it can be even looser depending upon what you're building and, and what's allowed. Uh, so there's no definite, what, what does it have to be? If you go to work for, let's say, uh, um, Toyota, they may have a different tolerance than Ford, not may, they will have a different tolerance than Ford, than um, Karma, than Honda. They all have different tolerances for what they want G0 to be. And again, I've seen them go all the way from extremely rigid 0 0.001 to um, a little bit looser to 0 0.01. And uh, engineering may get any surfaces and just join all the way to point 0.1 because for what engineering is doing, a point 0.1 is more than acceptable. Most of these places, um, in, when they go and, and they do their machining and, and clean up their data, as far as edges go, as long as you're not creating too many uh, problems with uh, the adjoining surfaces, they will join all the way up to that far. But the studios, the places where they require the highest quality surfaces, they won't. Like I said, uh, the loosest I've ever seen is 0 0.01. And what does that mean? So I have a section through some surfaces, and I'll rotate this out of uh, this view in a minute. But just to show you, um, now imagine that this is a uh, the radius for whatever tolerance I specified. Let's say that tolerance is 0 0.01, just to make it easy for me. So if this is a 0 0.01 tolerance, that means anything within 0 0.01 is allowed. So in this condition, or in this state, you'll see I have just a natural true gra gap between these two surfaces. This is within that 0 0.01 band, so that 0 0.01 acts as a radius around those edges. So in this case, if I were to join to a 0 0.01, this is obviously a much larger gap than 0 0.01, so it's not gonna work, but again, this is just for demo purposes then this would fall within that gap. And you'll notice that I have an overflush gap as well. So it doesn't necessarily translate directly or, or come straight out. This is a condition, again, because it's within that band, that that 0 0.01 band would still work. Now you can see up here, this is out of that band. It would not work. And the same thing for this. If this were pulled back outside of this band, it would not work. It would not join to within that tolerance. So it's it's that range within a radius of that edge running all the way around. And the way that I set this up as a demonstration is I just had a couple of surfaces and uh, did some offsets and some translates to, to show you that. And the reason why that, that um, I did it in said fashion is because that's exactly how the system is looking at those gaps. It's looking at it as this is just a circular sweep along that edge. Okay, and this edge, right, put that radius of whatever gap is allowed and everything within that gap will get joined. It doesn't matter where it sits. Even, even if I have a condition, let me go ahead and hide this, where I have a gap overlap. So in this case, show this there we go in this case I have an overlap condition you can see endpoint here to endpoint here so this would overlap but it falls within that boundary it falls within that range so that would be an, an allowable condition as well so that being said <clears throat> it's something that when you go and do your joins, you need to pay attention to what those gaps, it's, just, it's not just gaps, it's not just overlaps, it's, it's all of those within that circular boundary. And again, what studios are looking for, if you're in the automotive world, is something, each one is something very different than, than the next. So there's no definite hard, uh, you have to meet this. What I tell everybody is go to point zero zero one, 
and if the surfaces need to deviate in order to match whatever super tight requirement is, is being asked for, then let the system generate whatever is allowable for within its tolerance band for deviation. Most of the time you will get a 0 .001 or something really, really close. Um, very seldom do you get something above, let's say 0 .005, 0 .006. It does happen, sloppy modeling, especially when you're going into freestyle and you're, you're using a bit more of a tolerant package rather than a GSD, which has a, a, a tighter tolerance than say the freestyle stuff. But, um, but you, can, you can pretty much nail those tolerances down. Uh, or I should say that meet those tolerances, nail, nail those gaps down to within whatever allowable tolerance is there. So you just have to go in and be aware of what gap is looking for. It can be an overlap condition, it can be a gap, it can be an under flush overlap, it can be over flush, um, no overlap. So there's anything within this boundary is perfectly acceptable.